spices we are going to use for this are very simple. A bit of salt, not too much, pepper, smoked paprika powder, some thyme, some rosemary, garlic powder, sprinkle cinnamon on this piece of meat, brown sugar. So now we take a piece of rope and we lay it underneath the meat. About in the middle. And now we roll up the meat just like this. And then we take the cord and we make a knot in it. There we go. And now we go to this side, so we take the front, and then we do the back. And there you have it, some very nice meat roll with all the spices inside. Now we are going to wrap this in plastic foil and let it rest for two days. See you back for part two in two days. So, after two and a half days, this is what it has become. So the flavors are now totally into the meat. And now we are going to put it on the Kamado for approximately, I think, six to seven hours. What do I need for that is my meter plus. So I press it very hard into the meat. I can't go through the skin, that's way too hard. So we press it in the meat. There we go. And now we place this bad boy on the Kamado at 105 degrees Celsius. So we are going to smoke it. There we go. And see you back in six hours. So I have an internal temperature of 12. The target temperature is 91 and the environmental inside the Kamado is now 97 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. This is how it looks. 53 internal, target 195, environment, so inside the Kamado is 205, 206 degrees Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. There you go. Now let's wait. Inside the Kamado, this is what it looks like. So I have set up my meat. For an indirect cooking, if you don't know how to set up a Kamado for indirect cooking, you can see a video on my channel. I have made one especially for this. Two hours later, this is how it already looks. If you like this recipe, then please give my video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my recipes, then subscribe to my channel. Now let's continue. Two hours left. And this is how it looks like at the moment. So, four hours later, this is how it looks like. Now get the Kamado up to 240 degrees Celsius and get a nice crispy crust. And to get this temperature up, you're going to open the vents completely. On top and the bottom, they open about this much. Now let it heat up and let it get crispy. Now let's give this nice piece of meat a try. Oh, wow. Let's slice here. Oh, hear that crunch. 
Oh, wow. Oh, let's see for yourself. Hmm. Oh, look how juicy this is. I can't wait. It smells a bit like spare ribs. It has the same smell. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. Mm, I'm going to do it right away. Mm, take a piece of rope out. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. So I really hope you like this recipe. It's great. Mm. 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 See you in my next video.